first day gardening live at the command center of the JW Solar USA in Minnesota. Guys, I didn't do much this year due to the COVID-19 and uh, everybody was kind of slow at the store bringing seedlings for uh, growing season. It's kind of beautiful weather today and look at that blue skies and you can't even imagine or believe a few days ago I brought you a video uh, with all cloudy dark weather there we go guys back to the garden here we got some um, hibiscus flowers here they were doing good since uh, winter I had them winter from a friend of mine and uh, work look they have babies coming out just like uh, bananas like how bananas grow you know they come every year it's just one this is the main one I got and they already got all different ones there and uh, look I had a new plant to the family this is a rose and um, I suppose I have the uh, there we go is a tropical hybrid tea so t-a-n tunnel star so guys this is what it is it says uh, hybrid tea probably you can do a tea something like that I never done any research yet but um, guys this is what it is and I have to I'm keeping this because I want to remember the name of it if someone happened to ask me so look at that Started having them nice flowers, nice baby flowers. So I was so excited because I was gonna cut the first flower and for my wife. So donate it to my wife. So here is a, I don't know if it's a company, AAR Winners. So I bought this at the store. Uh, this, um, we're still around, is the early, early spring. So I found this one. They are different kind of uh, rose, but I decided to pick this one because it just caught my eye, and just because of the hybrid uh, tea on it, I was curious about it. So it says needs a full sun. You see that? It's a fragrant, and the temperature here. Okay, the zone is a nine point five. A lot of you guys probably know something like this this is my first time I did a rose before many years many many years overseas they can't just make it I, I, I never did a research for them I was told that uh, uh, roses they need uh, I think a uh, high pH um, soil it's supposed to uh, then they can do well but this one started doing pretty well look at that I have two roses and I was so happy they were inside today is the first day and I uh, brought them outside so this is uh, today is what um, the 20th yeah May 20th so this is um, well, we have, as you guys know this is the uh, uh, Carolina Reaper the hot pepper uh, if you guys can see it right there yeah I've been having a lot of fun with that the one I got the last time my wife I do I hydrate it and um, ground it like a powder we did that I just added this one here today which is um, ghost peppers no yeah yeah ghost peppers these are ghost peppers because the ones I have already died so just keep on fluctuating back and forth because due to temperature in Minnesota but this is what it is let me take you outside and see the new plants I got Stay tuned, like and subscribe. From a distance, you guys can see my um, pot plant here. This is where the magic used to happen all the time. You guys see some nice green, big tomatoes, peppers. So we are back again. See how everything's gonna work. So I incorporated here habaneros, habaneros, hot peppers, right there. And uh, it's the same as this. There were three, two in a, you know the seedlings so I decided just to go about double them up if some of them don't make it that's good 
Then I got some uh, ghost pepper, the one I showed you upstairs. It's a ghost bot jilonko. Uh, you guys have seen that before. This is one of the plants, and I took the remaining upstairs and added up to the Carolina Reaper. And I incorporated these ones, I grew them before, and you guys have seen the cayenne pepper, cayenne long thin hot peppers. So I incorporate these ones here, um, just two of them. And um, then I end up adding here uh, alopinos. So you guys will see alopinos, I had them before. So all this magic here, and uh, it cost me just about $13 this year. I didn't spend that much to do what I, I used to do, over a hundred and some dollars. But guys, I just recycled the dirt that I had. I bought a new one uh, recently, a big bag. So you see I incorporated from the uh, rose, roses there. So that's the dirt, I gave a fresh one and uh, add some of that into the uh, Carolina Reaper because that one has survived what approximately uh, four years now three or four years four years approximately yeah about four years so keep on recycling so it's getting thinner and thinner and uh, I don't want it to die because I don't have any replacement the ghost paper were with it upstairs it died and just from the transition on fall bring it back inside you know, dig them up, reduce them, trying to incorporate them in one plant because I don't want to spread them all over in the house. And so sometimes the temperature in the house can survive. So this is the, the magic here. Like and subscribe. So I want to give a shout out to all the farmers and gardeners out there, DIY Solar Homestead and all the rest.